Hey guys, welcome back. And if you're serious about 3D printing or if you're a newbie just getting into it, one of the important tools you're gonna to wanna to have is a digital caliper. Why? I'll tell you why. Hey guys, welcome back. Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Paul and my channel is where nerdy is cool. I do all kinds of 3D printing. I build R2D2s, I got a Batman suit, Stormtrooper suit. Essentially, if it's nerdy and cool, I'm into it. Welcome. If you have never seen my videos before, hit the link down in the description here, become a subscriber. I don't want you to miss any of my cool videos. Also, if, if you like this video, check out my other stuff. So let's move on to the digital calipers. So this video is a result of something stupid that happened to me recently and I'm happy to share it with you guys. Um, I was doing and I have all kinds of calibration cubes and you know that the whole thing. I mean I have literally 14 printers and what I like to do is with every material uh, I do three things. Well when I first get the printer I do the E steps. So what we're doing is we're using our digital caliper and we want to measure uh, in most cases 100 millimeters of uh, filament going through the extruder and coming out the nozzle and we want to make sure that the extruder is working properly. So we need a precise instrument that can do that and that's where our handy little digital caliper comes in handy. Also, it comes in very handy with these calibration cubes because uh, after we figured out the E-steps, after we figured out the sweet spot with our temperature, which if you haven't seen my video on temperature towers would simplify 3D, you should check that out. Bling. Um, this is a great way of using your digital caliper to find out if you're over or under extruding and as a result you'll either adjust your extrusion multiplier or in other slices is called the flow rate. So having a precise tool that can measure these things is very important. Uh, I had been using for a very long time one that I had purchased at Lowe's. It's a general brand um, digital caliper and I noticed over the past couple of weeks when I was tuning in my materials um, I was having a very difficult time with it not zeroing out or I was getting very inconsistent uh, measurements and when I went to use the measurements and tried to print a new test prints I was either <laughs> way under extruding or way over extruding I couldn't figure it out. And the fact that I was doing this on multiple printers led me to believe that there was a problem with my tool. Now, it's a digital caliper. I've had it for five years. I mean, it's uh, maybe it just went bad. I mean, it's not like it took off one night and had a bunch of drinks and came home and made a mess on the floor or something. What, what was that? D uh, digital caliper, look at you. You've gone bad. Nah, <laughs> that's just silly. So, having said that, I went with the inexpensive one and I decided that, you know what, um, I replaced the battery, I tried a few things, and I basically, for $35, I got five years out of it. Uh, the second time around, what I do at work is we do a lot of work with, I work at a laboratory, so we have a lot of precise instruments. So this time around, I went with a Matoyo, and I'll provide links down below because whether you want to go with a $35 item or a $170 item, that's completely up to you, and of course the sales are everywhere. But I'm finding that now that I've invested the money in a real instrument that's very precise, uh, I feel good about this purchase. Now I'm gonna have links down below on Amazon where you can go either the low end or the high end. But one of the things too I noticed is that you can go to different manufacturers or different resellers actually. Uh, for example, Transcat uh, offers calibration services for these Matoyo devices. Uh, they also offer USB uh, cords and plugins. So I mean, you can go on the very high end of this or the very low end, whatever works for you. But if you don't have one of these and you're just getting into 3D printing, I just want you to be aware that it's an essential tool to have. It's not a very expensive tool to have, but you definitely need one. One of the things I see all over the Facebook groups and web forums, what have you, is someone will buy this brand printer, they'll communicate with this brand printer's group and say, hey, do you have a profile I can use for Cura or Simplify 3D? Uh, they'll share that, uh, they'll try to find out uh, what material everyone's using, they'll try that material, and they'll get way different results than everybody else. What I'm trying to say is that just because you're using the same profile and the same material, 
your results are going to vary. So that's why you want to do these E steps, temperature towers, and uh, extrusion multipliers to fine tune because every 3D printer is a little bit different, every batch of filament is a little bit different. So that you can save yourself a lot of frustration by getting those measurements, sorting it out, and using a lot less material and wasting a lot less of your time to print precisely. So that's it, just a really short video this time around. I just want you guys to be aware that whether you've been printing for one month or seven years, you can still get flubbed up by the most simple things. And in my case, it was the passing of my old digital caliper. But now that I have a new guy, it's been working very well. And uh, since that time, I have been able to correct all my blunders from the last couple weeks and my printers are printing happily again. And I wanna wish you that same kind of luck. And that's it for this time. If you like the video, if you're curious what I'm working on, I'm all over social media. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, and of course, Twitter. So if you wanna see what I'm working on or what's coming soon, I post stuff there all the time. If you've enjoyed your time here, I hope you come back again. And remember, this is where nerdy is cool. Thanks for watching, guys. On Twitter, and you can always see the latest, uh, that so that's this week's tip uh no not in the week that have to do it every week then five four this is where nerdy is cool see you guy <laughs>